So on this problem, and you will use synthetic division, we'll check by finding out what, I guess that should have been P of negative 3, not F of negative 3. So a little typo on that. But we'll do it both ways just to confirm that our answer is correct. Not that everyone will, but again, you should. So in, set, in synthetic division, uh, they gave us the value of C, which is what the function is of. Uh, right, that came from this negative 3 here. Uh, our function is already in descending order. So I've got that coefficient 1, then 3, then 2, then 8. So whatever my remainder is. So would you put that 3 as a positive 3? So again, the remainder is what P of negative 3 will be. So whatever our remainder is will be the answer to this problem, okay? So let's go ahead and drop our 1. 1 times uh, negative 3 is negative 3. So then we got 0. And then we got 0 times negative 3, which is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. And then finally, we got 2 times the negative 3, which is negative 6. And our remainder 2 is the answer here. So just to confirm this, and not that you have to do this part, but Again, you should just to check. I'm going to rewrite our original expression. x cubed or function, whatever. 3x squared plus 2x plus 8. But I'm going to replace all my x's with 2. Dang it. Yeah, well, you know. You can if you check. Just make sure you do it right, all right? <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to replace all our x's here with uh, negative 3. So this x also with a negative 3. That's a little sloppy because I did it wrong first. Uh, then we got a negative 3 cubed, which would be a negative 27. And then we got a plus 3 times 9, which is going to be, well, 27. And then plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then I got a plus 8. The 27s just cancel out, so I got negative 6 plus 8, which is 2. Just confirms that our answer is correct.